Hello, welcome to the Georgia Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us today. Have a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. If your question is for a specific school, make sure to name the school in your question. Your cameras and microphones are off. The panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening tonight and tomorrow night. Be sure to sign up for additional ones where you registered for this session. This presentation is being recorded. It'll be available within about a week at the same website where you registered for this session. We're in session A2. I'm moving my cursor over the session on the screen that I am sharing. So those are the six schools that will pre be presenting and the order of their presentation. Now that I've gotten all the housekeeping stuff out of the way, I will step out of the way and turn it over to our first presentation from the representative from Clemson University. Good evening, everyone. My name is Norma DeLuna and I'm from Clemson University. We are settled and let me go ahead and show my slide real quick. I apologize about that. There we go. So we are located in the upstate of South Carolina and we are nestled within the Blue Ridge Mountains. As you see there, this is Death Valley. We have over 1400 acres of land and we are surrounded by over 100 miles of lake shore as you see there. But to go ahead and get started and Clemson by the numbers, we are a mid-sized university. So we have 25,000 students total, but at the undergraduate level, we have 20,000 students that male to female ratio pretty much stays split down the middle that number interchanges year by year but ultimately it is split down the middle now in state and out of state students we do have 65 percent in state students and 35 percent out of state students because we are a land grant university but to be honest if you ask any student on campus you really cannot tell the difference as you see there we have that 16 to 1 student to faculty ratio so you're having that one-on-one -on -one experience with your professors and that 19 median undergraduate class size only 5% of our classes at Clemson have those huge lecture style classes that you see in the movies. And even then those classes are completely avoidable. Our graduation rate is at 83% at a six year graduation rate. And the reason why we put it at six years is because we offer various research cooperative internship opportunities that may add a little bit extra time to your time at Clemson, but ultimately it is dependent on you. It's definitely not required. And then we have that 93% retention rate that for students after their freshman year at Clemson loved it so much that they decided to stay. Now going into more details about our majors at Clemson, just to name a few, we have engineering, we have education, nursing, all these majors are direct admit. So there's not a separate application process for these majors at Clemson. So we have over 80 plus majors, over 120 minors. So I encourage you to check out our degree page on our website. Here, it'll let you know what your curriculum is gonna look like for the next four years. It'll even give you an idea of different career paths and graduate pathways that students have gone through in the past. So definitely check that out. Now, speaking of your major area of interest, we definitely wanna challenge you at Clemson, but we also wanna ensure that you are supported and that you have those resources available to you to be successful here. So all these resources that are available to you as a Clemson student are free. Starting off, we have peer assisted leaders or PAL leaders. There are students who have made an A at a notoriously hard Clemson class, and they're gonna be there by your side, retaking that class with you, ensuring that you're, they're gonna answer all your questions and provide any tutoring needs that you may need in that class. Now, coupling together, our, our academic success center and our writing center. The writing center is going to ensure that you're successful in those typical college essays that you're going to have to write. And the academic success center is just there to ensure that if you don't already have a tutor through PAL leaders, that we will find other resources to ensure that you are successful in the classroom. Our office hours, our faculty office hours are required by our professors, so definitely take advantage of those. And whether it is inside the classroom and you need special accommodations or outside of the classroom, student accessibility services are going to be here to support you as well. Now going into our creative inquiries, Clemson is an R1 research school so you can start research as soon as your freshman year and study abroad is also another option for you whether it is here at Clemson or somewhere else is dependent on up, ultimately dependent up to you. But going back to that creative inquiry, it can be within your major, it can be outside of your major. Honestly, creative inquiry, the world is yours. My favorite fact about these is that the next time you're eating Oreos, think of Clemson because the stick and seal packaging is actually based off a of creative inquiry that was student led here at Clemson. 
Now, when you're going to college, you also want to think about, you know, am I going to be able to find a job after you graduate? That's everyone's concern. And so we pride ourselves at Clemson at being number one in career services in the nation. So what does that mean for you? So 96% of students at Clemson within six months of graduation will already have a job, will find a job, or go to grad school after they graduate. And this is through our career services. As you see here, we hold career fairs that not only introduce employment opportunities to students, such as Michelin, BMW, Floor, just to name a few companies. There's over 5,500 companies that are gonna be here, but this is where you're having those networking opportunities. So that's where you're gonna find your internship and cooperative education opportunities. So going back to that six-year cohort that I mentioned in the beginning of this slide, our career services are gonna ensure that you're gonna have the skills that you need to land those interviews that you're going to have, sorry, I had a loss of train of thought there, down to the very outfit that you're going to wear at these very interviews so you can land these jobs. Now, finally, we do have virtual engagement opportunities for you all at Clemson. I wish I had the whole night to tell you all the amazing things that we have to offer, but here's just a few things to name a few. Visit our website, clemson.edu forward slash admissions. Here you can sign up for our virtual office hours via Zoom. You can join at any time from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It'll be one-on-one -on -one with an admissions counselor and a current tour guide at Clemson. And we offer virtual daily tours. So definitely sign up for those. They will definitely go into more detail as to what Clemson has to offer. But if you have any other questions or anything, please email us at that apply at admission.clemson.edu email that you see below. But thank you all for having me tonight and go Tigers. Thank you very much. And I want to remind everyone that yeah, if you have a question for any of our presenters, use the Q&A button on your screen to ask that question. And if it is for a specific school, just make sure you name the school in your question. Up next, we will hear from the representative from East Georgia State College. Okay. All right. Hey, everyone. My name is Anna Helms, and I am with East Georgia State College. And I'm trying to get this. Okay. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Um, I'm with East Georgia State College, and we are a um, smaller school located in Swainsboro, Statesboro, and Augusta, Georgia. So these are just some of our degree programs that we offer. Um, we offer a lot of associate's degree programs. Um, an associate's degree you get after two years and um, you can stop with an associate's degree or you can keep going and get a bachelor's degree. Um, we're part of the university system of Georgia. So all of our credits will transfer to any other school if you're looking to start somewhere small and then um, maybe transfer into a bigger university. And then these are some of our bachelor degrees in certificate programs. We have a certificate in digital photography, um, a bachelor's in fire and emergency services administration, a bachelor's in biology, and then an RN to BSN bridge program for um, people who are already a working registered nurse. Um, and the bachelor's degree in biology, that can take you a lot of different pathways. Um, we have students who go to medical school from there or vet school or um, something like that. So lots of different um, opportunities that you can take with that. Um, and then I wanted to also mention, we offer some transfer pathways. So they're not degrees, but they're pathways that will set you up with your prerequisite classes that you need for um, nursing, computer science, and exercise science. So our main campus is in Swainsboro, Georgia. It's a smaller town um, in Southeast Georgia, and we have our dorms there, meal plan, lots of different clubs, athletics, um, lots of different activities for students. So really the whole college experience in a smaller setting, a small town, we have about 1,200 students on campus. So again, if you're looking to kind of start small or maybe that's what you wanna, um, you're not looking for a really big university, that would be a really good option for you. And then we also have our campus in Augusta, which is a satellite campus. Um, those classes will meet on the Augusta University Somerville campus. And um, you get to use and enjoy all of the amenities that Augusta University students get to use. Um, so you're kind of like their student and our student at the same time. Um, and it makes for a smooth transfer to Augusta University if that's maybe um, where you're wanting to go afterwards. Um, one thing about our Augusta campus is we do not offer housing there. You would be responsible for 
providing your own housing, you're finding a place to live. And then we also have a campus in Statesboro, Georgia, which will meet on the Georgia Southern University campus. So another good option if you're looking to start small and then transfer to another big university. Again, the same thing with Augusta, you get to use all of Georgia Southern's amenities and um, activities that are offered to them and it makes for a smooth transfer there afterwards if um, that's what you're looking to do. Um, this is our admissions checklist. So obviously your admissions applications, what you would submit first, the $20 fee, any high school transcripts or prior college transcripts from any schools you've been to before, we'll need those. Um, placement exam scores, we are not requiring those for admissions. Um, all you need is your transcript and your application and um, you can send us your scores if you have them so that you can exempt any learning support classes. Proof of citizenship would just be your driver's license and then your immunization records or your shop records. Okay, so these are our placement requirements. Um, this is on our website as well, but we do have adjusted requirements um, with COVID. So these are our COVID adjustments here. Um, so these are what you'll need to um, exempt any learning support classes. Okay, and then we, one thing that we are very proud of is our low cost tuition. We have some of the most affordable tuition in Georgia. So this is just a good comparison chart of what you'll pay at some other universities compared to ours. So you're looking at around 6,000 a semester if you were to um, come here and pay for tuition, meal plan and housing and fees, you're looking at around 6,000 a semester. So a really good affordable high quality education. And then one thing that we are um, offering is our Corel scholarship on our Swainsboro campus. It um, pays for all of your tuition and it's $5,000 a year split up to $2,500 a semester. And it's a service-based um, scholarship that 20 students per year receive. So it's based on you know, how you're helping out in your community and the way you're um, giving back and kind of serving. So definitely apply for that if you're um, interested and the application did just open up. So the, they are due November 30th, and then we'll have another deadline on um, in February. Okay, and then we also offer dual enrollment as well. Um, if you are still in high school and you're looking to take some college classes, we offer dual enrollment, and these are our um, requirements. And we are going to have an information session after this, uh, so I can give you some more information about East Georgia. Um, I'd love to chat with you, answer any other questions, and kind of go in depth more about some of the things that I kind of um, glanced over today. So you can sign up at the link here, or you can scan the QR code, and it'll send you the Zoom invite um, so that we can chat after this. And my name is Anna Helms. I'd be happy to answer any questions or if you are looking to come for a tour or anything like that or just have any admissions questions, you can um, email me or give me a call. And thank you. Thank you very much. And I want to remind everyone, if you have questions, use the Q&A button on your screen to ask questions of our various presenters. Make sure that if it's for a specific school, name the school in your question so they know it's for them. Up next, we will hear from the representative from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Hi everyone, my name is Ludine Lewis and I'm the Regional Assistant Director of Admissions for Embry-Riddle. In the chat, we've also got Kayla, who is the Assistant Director over at the Prescott, Arizona campus. One really important thing to know about Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University is that we do have three separate campuses, two residential and one online. Our Daytona Beach campus is the largest of the two residential campuses with about 6,500 students. The students at the Daytona Beach campus um, get perks like they the flight line, which is on our campus. The Daytona Beach campus has our fleet of about 75 aircraft on our campus, which is just pretty exciting because we are adjacent to the Daytona Beach International Airport. On top of that, we also have the largest research-based telescope on a college campus um, in the state of Florida. And that just really accommodates our students in our astronomy and astrophysics programs. And then our College of Engineering has two supercomputers that students are allowed to use. So we are by the beach. We 
are only about an hour away from um, both the Orlando area and the Kennedy Space Center. So students do have opportunities in both areas, um, but our campus is just very nice, very nicely situated within the Daytona Beach area. The Prescott, Arizona campus is our more outdoorsy campus, and it is the smaller of the two residential campuses. The Prescott students are rock climbing, mountain biking, hiking, kayaking, canoeing, spending a lot of times outdoors. Um, Prescott has about 3,000 students and they have the my favorite thing about the campus which is a huge planetarium one very special thing about the Prescott campus is that the students in the space physics program actually worked on the Nobel Prize winning LIGO collaboration so if you're interested in space physics and you want to work with people who actually worked on a Nobel Prize winning um, project, go to Prescott or just come to Embry-Riddle in general. Last up is our worldwide campus. This is our completely online campus. So students can do dual enrollment in the state of Georgia to getting your PhD and it's completely online. And we call it worldwide because it literally is worldwide. We have Embry-Riddle Brazil, Embry-Riddle um, Singapore, and then also the campuses that are all across the nation. When you talk about Embry-Riddle, when you think of Embry-Riddle, tangible experiences are one of the most important things that we want students to know about us. Our average class size at Daytona is 27 and Prescott is 24 because we are a project, a hands-on university. We don't have big classes because a lot of the times you're going to be doing lecture. The lecture is just to help you do the project. Our placement rate is 94%. So with one year of grad, within one year of graduation, students are working or continuing education in their field and that in their field distinction is really important because it tells us that what you're doing in the classroom, the experiences that you're able to have through co-ops, when internships, actually translate into real jobs. And then last up, we have over 350 clubs and organizations across the two residential campuses for students to be involved in. And this goes from the Society of Women Engineers to skydiving in Daytona and hang gliding at Prescott. A wider worldview is also something that you get at Embry-Riddle. Our athletics in Daytona are NCAA Division II, and in Prescott, they're NAIA Division II. We essentially have everything but football, and instead of having a football team, we do have a competitive flight team at each campus. So students um, can actually fly competitively at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Study abroad opportunities are a plenty, and this can be within your degree program or just for fun because you want to experience in other culture. So students in engineering can do the OLA engineering program where you go to Spain and you study abroad for a, a summer semester in Spain and earn nine credit hours, or you can just go to Ecuador for fun. ROTC is a big thing at both of our residential campuses with about 15% of the student population at both campuses as a part of ROTC. We have every branch in Daytona Beach and Army and Air Force in Prescott. And it is really important to know that our Air Force ROTC detachment outside of the Air Force Academy actually produces the most commissioned officers and pilots in the nation. Like I said, outside of the Air Force Academy, that ours is number two. And then last up is Greek life, a really great way to supplement your education with some service-based organizations that we have on campus. Here are our notable programs, and this just gives you a glimpse about what, we, what we're best at, what people don't even know that we have. Aeronautical science being our professional pilot program at both our campuses, aerospace engineering, and the Prescott campus actually has the number one aerospace engineering program in the country um, for their field. And then we also have our aerospace physiology program in Daytona, which is our pre-med program. And then Prescott has the number, the only, first and only um, college of security and intelligence in the nation. So students that are interested in global security and intelligence and forensics can go to Prescott for that. So now I'm sure that everybody here is like Embry-Riddle is where I want to go. There's no question about it. So we're going to quickly go over the application process, which is pretty simple. You go to ERAU dot edu slash apply and you click on the appropriate campus only apply to one campus we're the same school um, you'll use code dbpc to waive your application fee submit your high school transcripts there we are a test optional university it's a yes or no question on the application you also will submit two letters of recommendation if you're applying to the prescott campus and then letters of recommendation essay and a resume are all optional for daytona beach
And that is us. Please contact us if you have any questions. Thank you very much. And again, I will remind everyone, if you have any questions for any of our representatives, please make sure to use the Q&A button and name that school in your question if it is for a specific school. Up next, we will hear from the representative from Emmanuel College. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining in. Oh, we're so just thankful that you guys are here. So my name is Savannah and I'm the admissions recruiter at Emanuel College and joining us um, in presenting is the other admissions recruiter, Danielle Smith. And we both actually attended Emanuel College as well. So just easy at a glance, we are a small um, Christian Christian-centered institution that is based um, in Northeast Georgia. We're about 30 minutes south of Anderson, South Carolina, about 30 minutes north of Athens, Georgia. Um, it's a beautiful campus in Rolling Hills, Georgia, as well as right into that Blue Ridge Mountains. Um, just a quick facts about us. We are a little over 950 students um, from over 20 different, country, 20 different countries. Um, we have about 30 different majors and 19 different minors, and both of those can be either a Bachelor of Arts or Bachelors of Science. 99% um, of our students receive some kind of financial aid, which is really, off, really awesome. Um, we're, uh, again, a small campus, so we have a 15 to 1 student to teacher ratio. Um, and we're really proud of, we're really proud of being um, voted as a best regional college in U.S. News and World Report. So a couple of different things for our admissions requirements. What you'll need is an application, um, an application fee, which is $25. And if you can reach out to either me or Danielle to find out how you can get a free application, um, as well as an official high school transcript. Um, something to note with most of these schools too, is that you will need to send in your final high school transcript once you graduate from high school. Um, we are test optional this year, so our GPA requirements a full accept is a 2.75 and above, and a conditional acceptance is that 2.25 to 2.74. And the only difference between conditional acceptance and full acceptance is you can't take more than 15 credit hours. Next up is our financial aid. So you can see with our chart, if you have a 4.0 or above, you have um, the $4,000 just automatically applied to your account. Um, and then below those, the 3.75 um, is 3,000 and below. We also have a couple of different really cool scholarships. We have the Emanuel Leadership Initiative Scholarship, which is um, for students who have, um, done a lot of leadership within their school, and that's a full tuition for four years. Um, that is the only one that has a date to apply for, and that's going to be March 15th. Um, and we also have, if you're interested in doing an honors program, we do have our Virtuosi um, program, which is you would get a scholarship for $10,000, and that would also auto be just automatically applied to your account if you're wanting to do the honors program. Um, one thing just out of manual is that we do, we live by faith. So one thing that we're just really proud of is that we do have um, chapel services. We have small groups, Bible studies, missions opportunities for you guys um, to just really include that faith with their learning. Um, also with learning. So we have a lot of different internships available for students. Most of our majors, you do have to do an internship within your major to graduate, and that's great because it just helps you to get a job after. And our um, students are 80% in getting in jobs that they want within their um, field of study. Um, so our most popular major is going to be our pre-med major, which is within our biology. And um, with that, you have pre-pharmacy, pre-veterinary sciences. We also added diversified agriculture a couple of years ago, and we have four different concentrations within that. Um, also, another um, really popular one is um, business, as well as graphic design, kinesiology. If you're interested in that pre-physical therapy, you um, can definitely check out kinesiology. We also have a lot of different education opportunities for you guys. Early, to early childhood education, music education, history, um, things like that. Um, if you are living 
um, outside of 60 miles within campus. You do have to live on campus for your, your first year at Emmanuel. We have six different dorms. Three of those are gonna be male, three of them female. Um, what you see on the page right here is our Robertson Hall, which is our newest dorm that was built in 2012. And the floor that you see right there is actually really cool. It's a national award-winning um, terrazzo award winner. So you'll never see a floor like that anywhere in the world. Couple of really cool things about Emmanuel is we are NCAA Division II. So we have lots of different sports. We actually are the only school in Georgia that has acro tumbling. Um, we also have archery, bowling, um, swimming, um, actually bass fishing too. And so it's a really cool option if you're interested in sports. Um, also come just come see us. So we do have options for you guys. If you aren't comfortable about coming to campus, we do have our virtual campus tour that you can do that online. And we also just have, we do have in-person tours, which you can schedule on our website. Thank you guys so much for listening. And we just look forward to hearing from you and answering any kind of questions you guys have. Thank you very much. And again, I will remind you that if you have questions, please make sure that to use the Q&A button, ask questions of any of our representatives this evening. And if it's for a specific school, make sure you note that in your question. Up next, we'll hear from the representative from the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. Oh, hello everyone. I'm Candace and I represent FIDM, which does stand for the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. It's quite a mouthful. We are located in California, so a little bit of a distance from Georgia there, but we have some really great opportunities. Our main campus is Los Angeles. We also have campuses in San Francisco and Orange County as well. Um, our main campus is located downtown Los Angeles because that's really just where so many fashion companies, entertainment companies are located, which is really great for our students. We are an accredited college. If you're not familiar with FIDM, we are a four-year private college. We are primarily an art college, but we also offer some business majors, which I'll talk about in a minute. Our campus is downtown. This is a great picture of our campus. It's downtown in a very big city, but it still feels like a college campus. We have grassy areas and housing and all kinds of great stuff. Um, so a little bit about our, how our degree programs work. Everybody starts off with a two-year foundational associate of arts degree, and then they can venture out into a, either a bachelor of arts or bachelor of science, depending on what track they take. If you'd like to carry on for another year, we also are now offering an MBA, which is great. Uh, we're primarily known for fashion design. So that's how we started off over 50 years ago. We've since grown tremendously. We have over 30 different majors. Um, if you are interested in a design major, and that means you want to create something. So if you would like to study fashion design or graphic design, footwear design, costume design, textile, any of those design majors are going to be art programs. And if it is an art program you are looking for, we are going to require a portfolio. You would have to have a portfolio to submit with eight to 12 pieces of original work to show with us. Now, if you are leaning more towards a business track of those 30 majors that we do offer, about half of them are, are really more business focused. While they still really kind of are involved in the fashion and entertainment industries, it's gonna be that business side. So somebody who wants to get into the marketing and the merchandising, Maybe you want to be a buyer or a product developer. These are all really interesting and very specific majors. We're a very specialized college in that way. All of these programs are designed to really kind of funnel into a very specific career path. Um, here's another list of those creative majors. Any of the majors listed on this screen are going to be considered um, creative business majors and art majors. So you might need a portfolio. It's always best to check with an admissions advisor to find out which major you're looking at and whether or not you would have to have a portfolio for the application process. Um, this is a great visual of one of our student lab centers. Everything is high tech, it's state of the art, it's downtown LA, it's kind of what you'd expect to see. Um, our signature event every year is called Debut. It is a fashion show collection of our selected students who have really outdone themselves and they get to really showcase all their original designs for a chance to actually be seen in stores and to have job offers before they graduate, which is really cool. 
Um, this is a great picture of our student housing. Like I said before, we are downtown LA. You can see from all the buildings, but we still have some pretty cool perks and amenities. And this is a rooftop pool overlooking the beautiful city of downtown Los Angeles, where the weather is always nice. Um, we do also offer a career placement. Um, one of those things that we do that's really, really important for our students is we help them get an internship. So it, during their third year of study, they can have an internship at a fashion company, an entertainment company, a design company. All they have to do is come to one of our job fairs, our industry expos, and they can connect with those employers. Um, we also assist with all of our students getting a job after they graduate. Um, another great thing for students right now, college students or high school students, is we sponsor high school fashion clubs and we also sponsor them at community colleges. So this is an opportunity for a student who might be interested in fashion or design or something artistic and creative, but they don't really know how to get that experience in high school. So you can actually start a club at your high school, which right now we're conducting these clubs virtually and it's been really great. Um, we are proud sponsors of these clubs. So once your school gets it kickstarted, we will offer grants for your school, get you money for your school, and more importantly, we give you scholarship information. So if you are somebody who kickstarts a fashion club at your high school and you become the president of that club, you are eligible for up to $40,000 in scholarships, which is amazing, um, just for starting a club that you already had an interest in. So, and all of these uh, club details can be found on our website. Another really cool feature I wanna point out is if you're somebody who is a very creative student, you like something perhaps in the creative industries like marketing, beauty, fashion, entertainment, social media, but you don't exactly know what you would be good at, if you go to our website, you can take our FITM career quiz. And that career quiz is really designed to pinpoint an area that you might be best suited for. So if you're somebody who likes to sew a lot, you might be more inclined to be in fashion design. If you like digital art, you might be more inclined to do digital marketing or fashion marketing. So it just really depends on what you're interested in, but it's a great tool and it's shockingly accurate. Um, if you'd like more information about FITM, we encourage you to visit our website. We are offering virtual tours. We are offering in-person tours if you wanna get out to California. We also are offering school college visits online right now, we're using Zoom. Um, anything we can do to connect you with more information, we are happy to do so. My email is cchancellor at fitim.edu. I can answer any questions and offer assistance. Also, I can arrange a visit at your school. So let us know if you have any questions and um, I look forward to hopefully uh, seeing some people out in California soon. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. And one final question. Uh, Reminder to use the Q&A button to, uh, for any of our attendees to ask questions of our representatives. And again, if it's for a specific college, name the college in your question. Up next, we will hear from the representative from Flagler College. Hi everybody, good evening. My name is Stephen Albano. I'm the Director of First Year Admissions here at Flagler College. And I'm gonna be going through our brief presentation. Uh, we do offer a full online presentation, but also in-person options if you are able to join us on campus in St. Augustine, Florida. So St. Augustine, or sorry, Flagler College is a four-year private liberal arts institution. Our total enrollment's just a little under 2,500 students total. So if you're looking for that smaller, um, institution, you're definitely going to find it here. And to understand where our students are coming from, you can see primarily from the east, east um, coast of the United States, northeast, mid-Atlantic, southeast, as well as Florida, obviously, are going to be where our students are coming from. But we also see about 5% of our international population. And overall, it's about half and half, which I think provides a really great opportunity for students to learn um, from so many shared experiences. Um, and from Florida, I went to Flagler. So having opportunities to meet students from all over the country, all over the world, were some of my best memories that I had, um, whether it was going and visiting them or just learning a little bit more about different backgrounds. And then as far as what are some like really important things that we believe in here at Flagler are going to be transformative learning, respectful and inclusive community, citizenship with integrity and thoughtful stewardship. These are our core values, things that we believe that every student should really want to be a part of while they are here at Flagler. 
think these are going to be super important, not only while you're here on our campus, but also in transforming the world when you graduate. That's why, you know, our whole tagline at Flagler is making history and helping you figure out exactly how you want your um, future to be. Now, we're located in St. Augustine, Florida. It's just a little south of Jacksonville, about two hours north of Orlando. So again, good proximity for students looking to take some weekend trips, maybe to the theme parks or head up to Jacksonville. Um, as far as airports, for those of you out of state, we have options flying into Jacksonville, direct flights to Atlanta, to and from, about a six hour drive from Atlanta, just to give you an idea on how to get to our campus. And our student population, you got to see where everyone is from. I think students choose to come to Flagler really based on what we can provide. We are the nation's oldest city founded in 1565 by the Spanish. So it's very European feeling. Um, there's a lot of tourism here. So the city itself is only about 16,000 population, but it does feel much larger because of the fact we have the tourism. So we have some amazing restaurants, some really great cultural sites. We have some really cool art galleries. So a ton that you can do within walking distance. What you're looking at here is downtown St. Augustine. It connects over to Anastasia Island. We're three miles from the Atlantic Ocean, some beautiful beaches that you can go check out to just three miles away. And then as far as the average class size, getting over to the academics, 18 is our average. That includes your first year. So again, no large lecture halls at Flagler. These are just some of the examples of the different academic programs we offer. All in all, it's about 35 total. So um, the easiest way to kind of know what we uh, do offer is by what we don't. And that would be things like engineering, also a lot in the healthcare industry. So like nursing, pre-med, pre-vet, pre-dental, things like that are things we do not currently offer. Um, we've really chosen to focus in on what we're really great at. It allows us to keep our costs lower for students as a private school. And because we are a private institution, we find many students that are choosing to major in more than one academic area. So again, you can do anything between, um, I believe it's 12 and 18 credit hours and pay the same price. So it's very easy to either double major or major minor. We have an amazing career development center on campus that can help. Uh, so if you are looking to um, go to graduate school afterwards, we can help with that. Or if you want to find that career for you, we can do that too. Um, we do the traditional things like resume development. We do internships, all of that. But we also do some other really cool things. Speed networking is one where we bring alumni back. You get to interview with a bunch of different alumni. It makes the interview process just that much more um, common. So that way you don't have to feel nervous about going in the first time. You'll get immediate feedback. And again, the staff have been really, really great behind that too. We have some really good resources on our campus to provide for our students, learning resource center. So if you want to get some tutoring help, if you want to bring in a paper you're working on or for help in the math class, we have that. An international center to help you plan your study abroad trip, whether it's in the summer or for a whole semester abroad at one of our approved partner universities that you can go while you're paying Flagler tuition. Disability resource center if you needed any accommodations in or out of the classroom, as well as health services and a counseling center to provide for your physical and mental health while you're here. Now, average cost, you can see, is broken down on the right side for tuition and fees and room and board. We are a private school, so it's the same cost for in and out of state students. And you can see that 90% of our students are receiving financial aid in some form, too. Last thing I'm going to get to, though, just so you can see, is our academic profile for the most recent incoming class, about a 3.5 GPA. It's recalculated based on your academic core classes, so English, math, social, and natural sciences, as well as foreign language. You can see that in SAT and ACT scores. We've been a test optional institution for three years, so you don't need to feel like you need to submit test scores to us unless you would like to. And then the uh, application instructions are right here. You're welcome to check it out on our website. Basically, we've just passed early decision deadline of November 1st. We also have another deadline for regular decision on March 1st. Um, but it's a very simple process. Once you submit your application, either Common App or our application on our website, you can get that taken care of. So that concludes uh, my presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat box. I know we're going to kind of uh, do some Q&A right now, and I'll turn it back over. Thank you very much. And I will invite each of our representatives to come back on camera and to uh, turn on their microphones so that we can hear them. And I want to make sure that everybody has the ability to do that. So one moment while I make sure. And I think we're good there. And so I'll ask, as Stephen mentioned, as we have a little bit of time to catch up with the questions that were put in the Q&A. And if you have any, please go ahead and do that right now. Use the Q&A to ask questions. But I'll play a little bit of talk show host, and we'll go in the order of the presentations. 
and I'll ask each of our representatives uh, what their favorite campus and or school tradition is um, so that we can hear a little bit more about the schools themselves. And we'll start with Clemson University. So my absolute favorite tradition at Clemson is Solid Orange Friday. So this is when students wear all orange um, before a football game to not only show their pride for Clemson football, but you really get a sense for what the Clemson family is and what that really means. So every Friday, you'll see a sea of orange when you walk around Clemson's campus. Excellent. East Georgia State College. So my favorite tradition would probably be our family and friends fun day that we have every year. And we have this um, boat race where every club on campus and department gets to make a boat out of cardboard and duct tape and they have to get it across the pond. And it's a really big fun thing that um, everybody gets really excited about. So, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical. Uh, so my favorite tradition, um, as Ludine said, we don't have a football team, um, but we have a homecoming every year. And instead of a big homecoming football game, we have a homecoming air show. So this year we had to do it virtually. We had one of the best aerobatic pilots in the entire world doing a virtual air show for us. Um, but everybody comes out. We get to be out on the runways. Uh, it's really exciting. Uh, Emmanuel College. Yeah, so as a tradition that we have at Emanuel College is we have what's called the Dirty Pig Feast, and that's basically a barbecue that we have in the middle of our most populated part of our campus, which is the quad, um, and it, it's outside, and so it is easier to do um, during this coronavirus time. Um, but yeah, it's just a really fun time that we have for students. We usually have, we usually bring in like a mechanical bowl, um, those blow up jumping things um, that we have. So students and faculty and staff are always really happy when that comes around. Sounds fun. FIDM. Well, our most exciting event is in the spring every year and it's our, our annual fashion show where all the different majors come together. Fashion design students create the clothes, textile students create the fabric, the graphic designers create the advertising. It's just a really cool collaborative effort and it's a big event really kind of mirrors like a red carpet event. It's very glamorous and exciting. And last but not least, Flagler College. Thanks for us. So uh, my favorite, along with many of our students, is we have a whole Harry Potter week. You can see behind me is our signature building, Pont Hall. Um, it looks very similar to Hogwarts, a little more Spanish style architecturally. Um, but basically, we have um, a beautiful dining hall that we transform into the Great Hall. We have it broken down by the different houses in, in um, Hogwarts. And so you can get sorted throughout the week. We have Quidditch matches going on. We, don't, we have the movies out on our West Lawn throughout the week, too. So it's a really, really cool time for our students. Um, and it's been one of our, I think, most favorite traditions so far. Excellent. Well, thank you all for sharing your favorite traditions and for sharing all the great information about each of your institutions this evening for this session. And I wanna thank all of you for attending this session. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions hosted both tonight and tomorrow night. So be sure to sign up for more at the same place you signed up for this session. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this recording as well as all of the other session recordings again same website that you signed up for this presentation this evening. Once again, I want to thank each of our representatives from our six institutions for presenting tonight, and I hope you all have a great rest of your Wednesday evening. Take care.